Hi, John Valvano here, and I'd like to give you a brief demo of Lab 3. Okay, so here's my circuit. It's fairly simple. Uh, the blue wire here is ground, and that's connected to one end of the LED and one end of the resistor. Okay. Now, the other end of the 10, 10K resistor is tied to my input port over here uh, that goes across the switch, and the red wire here is 3.3. So 3.3 switch 10K ground, with the yellow wire being the input. Now, the output's just as simple, and that here is this green wire. Here is my output pin, my GPIO output, uh, which is tied uh, to the resistor, that's the 470 ohm resistor, tied to the plus end of the LED and the minus end went to ground. Now I have one more wire on here, this white wire is tied to PD3, um, which will become my uh, oscilloscope, uh, shown here uh, on the Texas display. Okay, so there's the oscilloscope there, and I've just started the program, and you can see it is oscillating with a period of about 500 uh, milliseconds, close enough to 2 hertz uh, to get full credit. All right, so now let me push the button. Come over here, push the button. Now, when I hold the button down, my thing stops, and when I let go, it'll start oscillating, but now at a larger a duty cycle. So it went from 30% to 50%. I hold it down again, it will stop going. Now Texas Display takes about 3.2 uh, seconds in this setting for you to refresh the screen. Okay, so I let go, and now it went from 50 uh, to 70% duty cycle, and you can see the high time plus the low time is approximately 500, and the ratio of 350 over 500 is 70%. That's what we mean by duty cycle. I hold it again. Okay, it stops. I let go. And then um, it went to 90%. And again, it's going to take a while to refresh. And we see, again, my uh, high time is uh, 450 and the low time 50 or a 90% duty cycle. And what's supposed to happen is it will, it will re um uh, refresh or go back down to 10%. Now at each of these settings, uh, the the rate in which it flashes is still 2 hertz, but the duty cycle, the percentage of time it's high, it varies. And that's what it means to be a pulse width modulation. Now I'm going to try to stick my finger in there and touch the switch to get it to breathe. Okay, which one? Okay, so this, I am now pushing the, the, the appropriate uh, 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 port F switch to activate the breathing. Now this is a special mode, you'll see it in the lab manual, called Perlin noise. And one of the cool things about Perlin noise is it elicits an emotional response that the LED looks alive. Now we don't care how you flash the LED, um, you can see the duty cycle here uh, changes a lot. The other thing that's changed is the frequency. So I'm going to zoom in and you can see uh, the frequency is much faster. Okay, okay. I've zoomed the Texas display in and it's almost uh, flashing too fast for even Texas display to see it. But you can see again, the frequency is now much faster, it's 200 hertz. Uh, and our eyes can't see 200 hertz flashing. Uh, but the duty cycle is flickering around using this formula called Perlin noise. Okay, so enjoy this lab. Uh, well, again, I don't particularly care how it is you, um, you do the flashing. Uh, again, you're supposed to learn about the voltmeter and the current meter and the uh, duty cycle. Um, and duty cycle represents the percentage of time the signal is high. All right, enjoy this lab.